Hey friends, you see this two gallon glass jar across my room here and the concave bottom there? Well, you wanna support that. Now the one to the right, because that's a lot of weight and these glass jars are made for cookies and laundry detergent. So I created a support for this. Let me show you how I do this. I've used closed cell foam in the past, but this morning I'm using cardboard for this new two gallon glass jar. Taking the dimensions with the measuring tape, um, as far as the diameter of how that concavity goes on the bottom of that glass jar. So take your measurements and then graduate it up to wherever the middle of that uh, concavity is. Now in my case with this glass jar, it wasn't, it's not perfectly symmetrical um, as far as the, the way that the concavity is. There's a it's off center a little bit. So I compensated for that on this cardboard by, if you notice, moving this last piece um, slightly off center up. And that way I can position it perfectly underneath the discrepancy and the bottom of that concavity just using wood glue. And there you have it, friends. I've dialed in that center. As I was saying, it was a little bit off center the concavity of the glass below and checking below here when I fill this two gallon jar you can see how that's going to compress I mean that cardboard's going to compress and it's me no problem with the edge the rim of that base um, hitting the table here and making contact in the meantime that center bubble is being supported much like this planted tank I had the same configuration going on with that one except I did use a closed cell foam as mentioned Thanks for tuning in and post your comments below if this simple tip has helped you use a glass container uh, safely and to take off the pressure of excessive weight. That's what we're, that's what we're doing this for.